Howdy doody everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. So in the last episode we destroyed the um, boss that was making the land all messed up and supposedly maybe the guy that turned this into a desert. But, if you actually go back to 1000 AD, uh, I guess I can show this to you because this might be kind of a short episode, I don't know. Um, if you go to 1000 AD after beating the boss, you'll see that it's going to still be a desert. And... You know, as a player myself, I barely even noticed this whole desert thing, because I don't really pay attention to that stuff. I just figure, well, it's part of the world. There's deserts, there's mountains, there's forests. So I didn't think anything unnatural of a desert, so I barely noticed the difference when I changed it. But yeah, if you come here, it's still going to be a desert, even though you've beaten the boss. So what you actually have to do is come back to 600 with Robo and talk to Fiona. Let's talk to her husband first, because... Oh, we already did. Okay, fine. Anyway, she says, Thank you for routing the beast. Unfortunately, it'll take centuries to revive the forest. I wish I could live long enough to see my wish come true. And Robo steps in and says, You can come for me when the job is done. May I stay behind and help Fiona? Sure. You can say no, but eh, whatever. So now Robo's gonna stay behind, and what in the world is he doing out there? Are we being too literal? No, you fool. We're following orders. We were told to comb the desert, so we're combing it. Found anything yet? Nothing yet, sir. How about you? Not a thing, sir. What about you guys? We ain't found shit. We ain't found shit. We ain't found shit. Okay. If you say so. Now that he's uh, combing the desert, we can officially go back to 1000 AD, and this time when we go back... Ta-da! No more desert! It's a huge, wonderful, lush, beautiful forest. Lush. <laughs> okay, and there's a Fiona's Shrine in the middle of it. Apparently you can walk around this too. It would be cool to come and just walk through here, because you never get to just walk through this little maze that they've made here for you, you know, because you're just coming here in the time machine, so it's like... Hell, there could be something over here. There should be something over here. Is there anything here in the GC version? I'd love to know. Or DS, should I say? Can't keep up with all these acronyms. Alright, this is Fiona's Shrine. Here we give thanks to Fiona and Robo for replanting the forest 400 years ago. Or for combing the desert. The remains of the lofty Robo are enshrined in the inner sanctum. And we're gonna go steal them! Here's a hat made from a magical bow filled with mystical forest powers. Yeah, so now that you've saved the forest, you can buy these sweet hats here. Most importantly, the Vigil Hat which is a whopping 50,000 GP. But it's definitely a good buy. <laughs> it protects against all status ailments and has excellent defense, as you can see. Um, well, I don't know. It's, Isla's defense is 184 right now, so 185, 172. It looks like they only go up by one. But, it's, but the status uh, protection is definitely worth it. So I'm going to go and pick one up now. I don't know who I'm going to give it to. I'll probably forget that I even have it by the time I finish this cutscene. Anyway, here we are. I guess I could have brought somebody more talkative than Magus into the party here, but that's okay. We're gonna have, like, everybody involved in the cutscene anyway. I'm surprised they don't come up like, hey, don't mess with that, he's our god, man. We worship this guy for, uh, replenishing the forest. We really need Luca here. Systems reactivated. Where am I? You are still here. Ah, oh, Magus, how nice to see you. Nice. For you, it was a quick hop, but for me, 400 long years have passed. The effort was worth it. The forest has grown back. Now let us celebrate our 400th year reunion. <laughs> we just saw you 15 minutes ago, dude. Of course, Luca's going to be working on him to fix him up after all that dust. After 400 years of experience, I've come to think that Lavos may not be responsible for the gate. What do you mean? I have come to think that someone or something wanted us to see all this. The different events over time that we've witnessed. It's almost as if some entity wanted to relive its past. I don't know, when people die, elders say see whole life pass by. Yeah. Tis true that mortals do relive the most profound memories before death claims them. Yet those memories most often are sad ones. <laughs> Thinking things like, if only I'd done this, or I shouldn't have done that, triggers unpleasant old memories. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you lie. <laughs> Ha 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 ha. 
Yeah. Well, we all have something we'd like to go back and do, I'm sure. If you'd like to uh, offer up your point of view on that, feel free to. Anyway. So who is this entity? It's me! <laughs> well, that's my theory. The entity is the player. That's why they say we go back and relive the past, as when you play this game again, you're reliving your past, kind of. Hmm. But this isn't Mother 3, so maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Spoiler. No, I'm just kidding. Anyone who's played the Earthbound games knows about all that. Anyway. So everybody's asleep, but Luca can't seem to sleep. Maybe that question that Marl asked her has bothered her a little bit. You can't talk to anybody here. Not even Chrono. I guess he had too much to drink. He just slept through the whole thing. Magus is sleeping on the tree. He's crazy. Whoa, cool. It's a gate. Can I, like, leave here? Like, go outside? No, I guess not. This is pretty, though. Well, let's check out the gate. Whoa, it's a red one. Nice. This ought to be cool. Wait, where's she going? Dude, am I going to lose Luca? I'm not going to have her in my party anymore? Uh, I can't beat the game without her. Okay, wait a second. Let's see. Yeah, she had a moment in mind, apparently. 624, 990 AD. Okay, so we're 10 years in the past from our normal time. Dad promised to go hiking with me, but blew me off again due to his work. I hate science! I loathe it! <laughs> What's going on out here? Oh, uh, nothing. Whoa! That's her younger self. What is this thing? Tabon has to keep away from it, but it's just so dusty! I'll just... Dear me, my skirt! It's unstuck! Luca, Luca, help! Oh no, and Luca doesn't know what to do. He can't pull it out. Ah! Luca, enter the password! Stop this machine! But I don't know it, Mommy! Oh no! Well, let's get down there and save her. Uh, you gotta be quick about this. Um, enter password, okay. So you push L A. Wait. L A R A. And that stops the machine. That's, um, her mother's name. Lara, Lara, whatever. Luca, Luca! I'm surprised she didn't get caught. I'd probably have the same kind of reaction, you know, if you could change something, kind of... I find it interesting that now, all of a sudden, there's diaries from, like... You know, a few days later, like, has she been here all this time? Like, is this, is this supposedly after she saved her mommy? I don't know if... Uh, I don't know. Okay, that's the old one, yeah. And that's the new one. That she wrote, just in the time between when I saved her and just now, so, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I've been hiding in here watching myself all this time. That would be cool. I want to go back and watch myself, or go back and tell myself something. Or just hang out with him, hell. I want to go tell him about what he's going to be doing, you know, 15 years from now. Luca, you've got a kind heart. You're always thinking of others. Yeah. This is for you. It's a piece of amber I created using a sap from a tree in my forest. Took 400 years and a lot of pressure to make. I hope we'll find it useful. Got a green dream. Robo, you're so sweet. Yeah, robots are always sweet. You know, just Johnny Five, for instance. Um, the green dream, I believe, is an accessory. And what it does, I'm not going to replace gold stub with that, don't worry. It's one time auto reanimate. So basically, if you have it equipped and you die in battle, it'll bring you back to life. But only once per battle. It can be pretty useful, though. So that's it for that side quest. So. I'm almost tempted to go grind for gold and get a bunch more Vigil hats. 50,000 GP is quite a price, though, let me tell you. There are other ways to earn GP in the game. Nothing that comes to mind just yet, but... Um, yeah, so let's go back to... Uh, I think I'll probably do the 2300 AD one next, because that's the first one that came to mind. Since I already got Robo in my party, it kind of makes sense. Nice segue with the side quest before it. This one, I didn't even know it existed the first several times I played the game, because it's kind of hard, it's easy to miss it, and it's not it's not essential to finishing the game. You see, that's the Sun Keep right there, that place that's in all time periods, but never seems to get touched. Anyway, if you fly around, there's a, an island out here with a fart factory on it somewhere. Yeah, it's right here. This is easy to miss, because you don't know it's here. It's not really connected to anything. It's just out here in the middle of nowhere. But if you go to this factory... How did Chrono get in our party? I don't know. Okay. I'm not complaining. <clears throat> and 
Analysis complete. Please follow me. So now we get to choose a party. We haven't had Chrono in our party for a while. Well, this is good. Okay, so turn on the computer screen. Oh, um, well, I guess I did that already. Okay. So next time on Chrono Trigger, we're gonna go through this door and see what's going on in this place. Oh god, this place is a pain in the ass now that I really think about it. Oh well. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.